You might have noticed that the newer properties these days are getting much smaller and there's three very logical explanations behind this phenomenon. First one would be the increased cost of land acquisition. The second one would be the increase of construction costs, especially right now with COVID going on. And lastly, developers' profit margin. So the whole equation is really simple. Land acquisition costs plus construction costs plus the developers' profit margins equals to the selling price to you as a consumer when you're buying a new condo. And because the land cost and the construction cost is already so high and the developer needs to maintain the profit margin, the only way they can make it affordable for you as a consumer is to make the properties smaller so that the total price tag of the property remains affordable for you. Which brings me to my next point, considering the fact that all the new developments these days are so small. Can I still buy it? Will I still experience a price growth if I were to buy it? Well, the answer to that is yes and no. Unfortunately, a lot of these properties that do not experience a capital growth are not really talked about during real estate advertisements. So you really need to find out which are the properties that will be in demand upon POP. The size of the property doesn't always guarantee that it's going to be in high demand down the road. Because if the size of your property is too big, it becomes unaffordable for the next buyer to come in to help you to make a profit. If you want to find out how to spot the properties that is in high demand, you can read some of the articles that I've written or you could get in touch with me to learn more about the property framework. And as always, if you have any other topics you want me to cover, just give me a shout out. If not, I'll see you in the next video.